Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today it's going to be a quick and simple video. I'm going to look at two cables from Top K. Uh, it's a brand I picked up on AliExpress. And uh, one of them is a LED cable. So it has an LED in the cable and you should see that it's charging. And the other one has a built-in amp and voltmeter so you should be able to see how fast your device is charging. So unlike uh, two charges back where the charger had a display, this time this cable has a display. So we'll see how that does in comparison to one of the standard Aki Anchor Transmart cables, which do very well. And we'll also see if both cables can handle quick charge 9 volts and 12 volts. In the past, I've tested LED cables and well, those all broke. <laughs> so I guess we're going to see. Um, yeah, follow along. Okay, so I've prepared uh, some loads with the meters and then a converter block attached so I can attach micro USB and measure the amperage and voltage and resulting wattage at the end of the cable where the load's being generated. Measuring it at the power supply voltage uh, will always give you a good voltage so that doesn't give you a realistic picture. So here are the two boxes from uh, Top K as you can see one has the meter on it and the other has a glowing LED so uh, let's uh, quickly unbox those okay well they come with a, a velcro strap that's always nice and uh, I'm going to use the Aki charger from the last test uh, it's able to do quick charge 2.0, but 9 and 12 volts, so that's good enough. And it also has three 5, five volt ports, which I will be using during the first test. Okay, as I mentioned, I'm using a standard Aki 1 meter micro USB cable. So let's connect that up. And as we determined in the previous test, this charger is able to deliver at least... Uh, 7 amps on its 5 volt uh, reel or configuration so we should be fine loading it up, loading it up with 3 times 2 amp ok let's fine tune that a little bit there we go so that's now at 2 amp let's take the LED cable which is also a detachable head cable Let's do the standard test. Okay, let's see focus. Okay. That actually works pretty well. Cool. Okay. So well, let's connect this up and connect it over here. There we go. Okay, two amps. And this one is, oh, let me try and show you a bit better. This one is at 4.55 volt, but because it's a uh, LED cable, that's, uh, or detachable cable, that's actually not that bad. Oh, wow, cool. It has the LED built into the connection mechanism. Mechanism? Mechanism. So let's connect that again. Yeah, that does okay. So let's test the cable with the display. So that also does about 4.4 volts actually. Could be better. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically the answer I have right now. Could be better. Uh, but it's not horrible. It's a 2 amp load, sim similar to what a smartphone would do. And it's still achieving around four and a half volts. I've seen cables which go down to three volt, which is absolutely unusable. 
and four and a half i mean it does have to power the led and this has the disconnect mechanism and this one has to i'm trying to minimize the noise of these fans this one has to use uh, actually show you the display well i should show you the display too so I always think it's a better choice to have the display on the cable than on the charger because then you can also measure per port and know how much each device is doing. But as I said, the voltage it will display, well it will always be the top voltage the charger is outputting and not actually what the device is receiving after it goes all the way through the cable as you can see. But all in all. That's actually pretty okay. I like the display. These fans are really going at it. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, as I said, I'm going to do some more tests uh, using Quick Charge and see if they can handle that. I will film it, but I'll probably edit most of it out because it's not really interesting. Uh, but if one blows up, I will certainly put it in the video. And if not, you'll uh, you'll see me back in the end with the results. And also, always check the uh, associated blog article in the description, where I'll also have purchasing links where you can purchase these cables. And well, this uh, I like this connection cable thingy. If you want one with an LED in it, yeah, the voltage is good. And the, the mechanism is actually pretty strong. And since it's round, there's no wrong way to connect it. Of course, the cable won't do data, but... Well, oh, I actually, I actually pulled out the plug. <laughs> yeah. I actually like both cables. Anyway. Uh, on to the quick charge testing and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, first cable to test is the uh, the Aki 1 meter one. I always test down to 3 volts. If it drops below that, I'm not really interested anymore. So this is just a 5 volt test. Yeah, it's about the same as this. Uh, same result as with the loads previously. Now this power supply will uh, give about 4 amps on one port. So, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, it, it's in a quick charge port. And that port will indeed only give about 2.6. So, now let me set this to 12 volts. Quick charge test. Quick charge 2.0. 12 volts. There we go. Charger acknowledged. And uh, let's do the same test again. Okay. 2.6 amps. Very good. Okay, so I'm using these this cable as my, my baseline basically because I know it's a good cable. Okay, let's get that out of the way and let's start with the detachable one. Um, I think the charger will have reset to 5 volts, so let's test. Yep. So basically this is the same test as we do with one of these loads, but then using a different tester which has a software module. All of these uh, modules, testers and blocks etc can be found in the description if you would like to have some for yourself so you can measure your own chargers or keep track of how your device is charging. It's doing okay. As I said, it's not the best cable in the world, but the LED and the detachable... Can you see the LED? I'm sure. And the detachable nature of it is... Uh, yeah, pretty interesting. Now let's set this to 12 volts and see if it explodes. 
about 20 minutes. Oh wait, it doesn't have any data lines. I don't think this will work. No, this cable doesn't have any data lines, un unlike the WS Scan we tested way back. So without data lines, it can't negotiate quick charge. Huh, well, this cable's done. Uh, I guess it's uh, fine for 5 volts, but uh, other than that... Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, that's it. It's okay for 5 volts though, but it's not going to charge your device very fast. Okay, well, that was a, a kind of a failure. Uh, let's test this cable. It's always the other way around. Okay, I'm trying to make sure you can see that. Maybe if I do it like this. It should be okay. Okay, it's displaying 5 volts and no amps, so that's correct. So let's start at 5 volts. Okay, it can display above 2 amps, that's good. Voltage is dropping a little bit, but... Mm, Okay, okay, so now let's enable quick charge. 12 volts. Interesting. Because this does have data pins, it negotiated correctly. And now the display is saying 12. Just, just 12. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, Start the test. But, you know, that does mean this cable supports quick charge. Okay. Yeah. It's actually pretty okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, I want to test this cable again, but at 5 volt, so I'm going to connect it to a normal port. There we go. Let's uh, focus on the cable this time. And I'm going to do this test because I know the normal port can deliver up to 4 amps. And, uh, well, I want to see if this display can deliver up to 4 amps or not explode. <laughs> Wow, voltage is dropping low. Uh, we're at 3.34 amps, that's good. Yeah, 3.92. Yeah. Okay, well, voltage is uh, completely unusable, but other than that, it uh, at least the measuring mechanism held up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, conclusion time. I'll uh, see you in a bit. Okay, testing done. And, well, uh, I think the cables actually did pretty good. They're not the most perfect cables, and there is some voltage drop more than with the, uh, the Aki cable. But um, this one has the built-in LED, which actually shines through the connector mechanism. And the magnet is pretty good. And since it's round, you won't have any problem connecting it any way or the other way. And um, because it doesn't have any, any data pins, you're not going to get quick charge. So it's 5 volt only. But at 5 volt, at 4.5, at 2 amps, yeah, that's fine. So I'll have a link to this one in the description. And I'll also have a link to this one in the description, because if you ever want to know how fast or how much current a device is charging or drawing, this is actually pretty okay too. Voltage did drop a little bit more than I'd like to see, but the build quality and uh, the display, it supports quick charge. It does 9 volt, 12 volt. I tested 9 volt off camera, but... Um, I 
seemingly accurate, although I have to debate the use of measuring the voltage which is coming out of the charger. Except if you have a bad charger, that's not really going to help you because you want to see the voltage that's going into the device. But at least you can see the amperage and with that figure out how fast your device is charging. And um, it's a lot better than the charger with the meter on it because th that charger, it was okay, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great either. So uh, in the end, I can, yeah, I can recommend both. As I said, I'll have all the voltage graphs in my blog post, which is associated, uh, my associated blog post, come on. And it's linked in the description. And I'll also have some purchasing links to these cables in the description. And yeah, that's it for this video and more content coming soon. See you guys later. Bye-bye.